Hi, this is David Lohman, and this is Lohman Logic. And today we're still talking about tips for working the room. That's for when you go to a mixer or a party where you know there are a lot of people there and that you're going to have a chance to make a lot of new contacts. Now, when we talk about making contacts, I want you to think of the word connection. I don't want you to think about the word networking. I hate that word networking because it sounds like you're in some other kind of business that we're not going to talk about. Good business, not what we're trying to achieve here. What we're trying to achieve here is we're trying to make connections because if you can make connections and you make them properly, they're going to make connections and they're going to refer to you if you do the simple steps that I show you today. So we've all heard about the form method. That's where we talk about friends and family, occupation, recreation, and money. In this application, we're not going to talk about money. It's fine for a different kind of business model. That's not what our goal is here today. I think if you talk about money in this setting, the people will smell the cell. I think you'll turn people off, and that's not what we're doing here. Remember, your number one goal here is not to get business. You'll get business automatically, hopefully. Your number one goal here is to develop relationships, and this is how you do it. When you walk up to them, you shake their hands, tell them your name, ask them theirs, and then you just ask them right away. So tell me, don't you know Jim? Now you notice I didn't ask them right away what you do for a living. I asked them, do you know Jim? Do you know Bob? Or who do you know here in this room? It's really all these questions that you can find out. Who do you know here in this room? This is new for me. And then you can get in the conversation about who their friends are. So tell me about your family. You have, you have kids? Tell me about your kids. And the reason you're doing this is because you're creating a mental picture of who this person is. You'll know what their interests are just because you know they have kids or don't. And you're going to have something else that you can put in your log so that you'll know how you can talk to them in the future. So then you, talk, then you can talk about their occupation. Now you've broken the ice. You've already started the relationship. Now you can talk about their occupation. So tell me, what do you do for a living? I'm an attorney. I'm a doctor. I'm a fire chief. I do everything in the book. I'm a handyman. I'm a husband. I do whatever my wife tells me. <laughs> whatever they say that they do, that's how you can start talking to them about their job. Tell me, tell me about your job. That sounds interesting. Always compliment that. That sounds interesting. Tell me how you got into that work. So when they tell you what they do for a living, now you have a whole lot of different ways that you can go. I think the best way to do it is not say, oh, tell me about your job, because you know what they all do. Tell me what's interesting about your job. You know what's interesting. Find out. Say, how did you get involved in that? That's showing that you have interest in them as a person. That's what's going to take them way back to the beginning. When they were first starting out and they were all happy about everything, and they're going to tell you a story. Once they tell you a story, you're friends. Now you have a relationship with that person. Now it's really starting. So now I'm going to tell you the most important question that you can ask somebody about their job, but you have to wait till the right time. That right time is when they finish telling you how they got into their job because they're going to tell you what's neat about their job. They're going to tell you why they love it. They'll tell you the whole story. And all you got to do is say, uh-huh, yeah, oh yeah. And they're going to keep telling you everything. The thing is, you've got to really be interested though because if you're not, if for just a split second you lose interest, they'll see it in your face and you're going to lose that friend. So stay interested. And here's the question that you need to ask when they, when they finish telling their story. The, the question is this. Tell me something interesting about you though. Tell me what your perfect client, your perfect customer would look like. Because now you're finding out what their specialty is. You're finding out exactly what they're looking for. Now you're taking them back to business. And they know that. But the thing is, you've paid your dues. You've made the relationship first. So now you have the right to ask these questions. Now it's fun to do that. Now, be, now you can develop that relationship farther. And guess what he's going to do next? He's probably going to ask you about your business which you can tell him. You can go through the same steps that you just took him through or her through, but you can outline yours in that same logical order. And when you do that, if you tell him your story, he's going to be more interested in you. After all, you're already friends now. See how important it is to develop friends? And so then after you've done this, if you still want to develop the relationship a little farther, you can talk about the recreation. What do you do for fun? What do you do in your spare time? All of these questions can come up later. But that's the steps that you take. When you take these steps, you will develop the relationship, you will know exactly what they're looking for, and then you can go and ask for the business card. And we'll talk about that in the business card video.
This is David Lohman. This is Lohman Logic. Be sure and like this down below and also put your comments down there. Share it with a friend and be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's too bad I don't know how to dance. I could start this whole intro with a dance, huh?